Good morning, America. Uh, this is the third week of our question and answer series. Uh, I'm Roger Allen Hoover, candidate for presidency of the United States of America. My great uncle was the 31st president of the United States. His name was Herbert Clark Hoover. During uh, the Great Depression caused by the Russians, I'm sorry, Vladimir, but it's true, um, my great uncle, the 31st president, fed all of the nations of NATO and also the Russians. Uh, when he got ready to run for re-election, the great Congress of our country decided to blame him for the Great Depression, even though it was the Russians. Sorry, Comrade Vladimir. Just the facts. Okay, let's go with our, oh, the same rules apply this week as in previous weeks. Let's go with our first question. The other questionnaire mentioned illegal immigration. Little D wants to ban Muslims from visiting the U.S. What would you do about visitors' visas? What I would do to control immigration, or not immigration, but visitation to the United States under a visa, the first thing I would do, I would require a visa of every single visitor to the United States. There's some countries that are favored nations. They don't have to have a visa. That would be over on January 20th, 2017. Every visitor that's not a citizen of the United States of America would have to have a visa. We would have to have that information about them. We would have to have their fingerprints. We would have to have their local contact number. We would have to have their name, rank, and serial number. I think you see my point. We would have to know everything there is to know about that person. Now, we would not ask to know any more about that person than a U.S. bank asks to open a checking account for you. And by the way, these U.S. banks contract with India, uh, Pakistan, Bangladesh for their customer service. And the agents in those countries, and they could be foreign spies, they could be government agents, they could be the CIA of that country, they have access to all of your banking records. So we're not going to ask any more information from these visitors to the United States that come under visa than Pakistan, Bangladesh, and India ask of our citizens who just want to open a checking account. And uh, this all happened because of um, the Patriot Act or whatever it was after 9-11. And I'm not being critical of George W. Bush. He did what he had to do to protect this nation. It's whoever extended it that I have a bone to pick with uh, because we need to get smarter. We need to look at other ways to protect the nation than what worked back then. There's an old saying in business, if you keep on doing what you did, you're going to keep on getting what you got. And we don't want to do that in this country. We want to be forward thinking. We want to be technologically advanced. And uh, so this is what we would do with visitors to the United States that are not citizens. They have to come in with a visa and a passport. Both of those documents would have to be verified by our technologically advanced state-of-the-art equipment that can detect uh, counterfeit documents of that type. In fact, we may even provide the covers to the countries that issue uh, passports uh, for people that are going to come to the United States. And that cover would have the, infra the, the logo and everything of the country, let's say Canada. It would have the maple leaf on one part of the cover and it would have the stars and stripes on the other part of the cover. And we would have equipment that would detect that that has not been monkeyed with. Uh, next thing is, when they come in, we're gonna put a platinum band around their wrist. It's gonna be very comfortable. It's not gonna be uncomfortable. And it is going to have an RFID chip in it. Now an RFID chip is a radio frequency identification something for the D. And that's going to emit a signal at stations throughout the country and let us know where that person is. If they decide to overstay their visa and they go to a public store, 
uh, the kind that was uh, uh, founded by George Jenkins, who was a brilliant businessman, a brilliant uh, grocer, uh, and also my grandfather was a brilliant grocer because in 1926, he drove an A&P supply wagon pulled by a mule up and down the streets of Catanning, Pennsylvania and delivered groceries to the residents there. But getting back to this, if wherever they go, wherever we decide to put the readers, just like when you walk through the uh, theft detection at, at Walmart or you hear it go off and you see nobody do anything about it, they don't care. Nobody there cares that the, that the theft thing is going off. I don't even know why they spend the electricity to run it. But these RFID chips, we would care about them because U.S. Marshals would monitor them, the FBI would monitor them, and uh, Secret Service would monitor them. And it would be a, a cooperative of those law enforcement agencies that would keep up with the movements of visitors to our country. Now also, in gun shops, if one of those chips went through the reader, um, red lights, blue lights, green lights, yellow lights, alarms, bells, anything else that we could make, make a sound and make a light source would go off in the nearest police uh, presence location and they damn well better get in their cars and get to that shop and find out why that visitor is at a gun shop or an ammunition shop because Nobody visiting this country needs to buy a gun, have a gun, have ammunition. It just doesn't need to happen. And then lastly, on this bracelet is going to be a charm like um, Pandora charms. And it's going to be the flag of the United States of America. Because I want that visitor to know where they're visiting and what we expect of them when they visit here. That's how I would handle visitors to the United States on a visa. What would you do about Obamacare? Obamacare. Boy, is that ever a favorite topic of every single person I know. Um, I'll use this because I don't have a credit card handy. Um, first off, you need to know one thing about our distinguished president, Barack Obama. What got passed as, as Obamacare was not Obamacare. It's something that the Congress and the lobbyists of this country forced down his throat. All he wanted to do was give health insurance to more Americans. So anybody, I'm going to give you an opportunity to hate Obama in just a minute. But let me talk about my version of Obamacare's. Uh, it's a slightly different name, totally different program. In, a week, in weeks earlier, I spoke about getting rid of the debt in 60 days, which I will. And if you have Neil deGrasse Tyson come and hear my plan, or a Nobel Prize winning economist hear my plan, if either one of them says it won't work, then I'll come up with a new plan. But I know that the plan that I have in mind will work. It has to be a surprise. It has to be a guerrilla tactic uh, to work, and that's why I'm not talking about it publicly. So as far as health in health care in the United States of America, the first thing we need to do is get rid of every health care insurance company. Blue Cross Blue Shield, United Healthcare, whatever company the thief, Governor Rick Scott owns or has that one, what, whichever healthcare company, he's Governor Haslam of Tennessee, he's not a thief, he, he's just a good businessman, but he picked the wrong business to get in with me being president. Anyway, you get my point. Every single one of those companies will be shut down and I'll tell you why. Or they don't have to shut down, they're just not going to have any U.S. government business. Um, they're going to, they're going to have retraining available to all of their employees through the U.S. Department of Commerce or through the, through the Small Business Administration. Now, my plan, Obama cares, you're going to be given a visa card similar to this business card. This visa card will let you go to any health care provider 
or any pharmacy in the United States and get whatever health care your doctor says you need or whatever medicine he says you need. You'll put that card on the table, he'll pick it up or his secretary will pick it up, she'll run it through the credit card machine. If you want a receipt, you'll have some paperwork. If you don't want a receipt, there won't be any paperwork with Obama's CARES. On the front of this card will be President Barack, President Hussein Barack Obama II, his wife, the First Lady Michelle, the first daughter, I hope it's Sasha, and the second daughter, Malia. All of their pictures will be on that Visa card so that you know that that's the plan that he really wanted to give but couldn't get. I will get it for him and in exchange I expect some favors on Air Force One before January 20th, 2017. I've got a few trips to take. Now, how are we going to manage the expense of this? First of all, with all of those health insurance companies gone, I'll save money and give you all the health care you deserve and want. The money has been going to those companies, to the likes of Rick Scott and his private jet, to the likes of Haslam, and I don't know if he has a private jet or not, but I hope I find out he doesn't. I hope I find out that he flies net jets with uh, Warren Buffett, and that's kind of what I'd like to do, but I don't know if Warren Buffett has a Boeing 777 in the net jet fleet. Anyway, I am recruiting as hard as I can Carly Fiorina to be president of the Cray Bank, C-R-A-Y. What is the Cray Bank? The Cray Bank is 30 $3 million computers manufactured by the Cray Corporation. These, corp these 30, this bank of 30 $3 million computers, $90 million worth of computers, will be able to tell me if your poo changed colors overnight. And then I can notify your doctor that he needs to see you. What I'm trying to tell you is that gazillions of transactions will be processed by these, these. They'll look at everything you buy with that credit card and you can only buy health care. It's only going to be good at doctor or at health providers and pharmacies. And uh, if you abuse that card through theft, fraud, you will lose that card and you will never get it back. There's no appeal process. There's no way you'll ever get it back. So unless you have the honor of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, you won't be able to use a card. If you do have that honor, you will be able to use it and you'll be able to get everything you need. Now, if the bank of computers identify that something's out of whack with your account, uh, the best of those healthcare company workers will be made investigators, Obama, Obama's CARES investigators, and when your account is flagged, they'll come out and investigate what caused it. If it was something ordinary, just some fluke, no problem. If you're trying to uh, scam the system, they'll pick up your card and you'll never get it back. Now, if you're a doctor and you try to scam the system, they will take your medical license and you'll be working at McDonald's going, would you like to supersize that? I'm not going to tolerate any scam, theft, deception, whatever on this plan because this plan will work and it'll give us the best healthcare available in the world today and we can't afford it and you will pay nothing, nothing, nothing. Zero is what you will pay for your health care. The reason that Bernie Sanders had to drop out of the race is he kept saying he was a socialist. I'm a socialist too because I'm a Christian and you cannot be a Christian without being a socialist but you have to be a capitalist too because you need capitals, capitalists to make the money to pay for the socialist programs.